Imagine you've just finished your studies. You've learned a lot of maths, but you're struggling to make a living since you have no real life skills. You then hear that a lucrative pharmaceutical organisation is offering a handsome reward if you can solve their problem. They have a warehouse filled with boxes, crates and packages. Each one of these items has some unique weight and can be sold for some known value. On Tuesday, a small selection of items from the warehouse must be loaded into a known set of trucks, cars and vans for transportation across the border. To complicate things, each vehicle, when fully loaded with goods, must not exceed some expected maximum weight. It's very important that this is true or the vehicle might be stopped and searched at the border. The organisation would like to know which combination of items they should take from the warehouse and which vehicle each item should be loaded into in order to maximise the total value of goods being transported. There are far too many items in the warehouse to try every combination. And remember, it's very important that each vehicle does not weigh more than the maximum that the border control expects when fully loaded. You can pause the video and think about how you might approach this problem without just brute forcing every combination. Rather than concern ourselves with what might be inside these packages or why it's a problem if the vehicles are stopped for searching, let's take a look at how we might solve this. We'll define a variable, x, for each item in the warehouse. This would be a true false boolean variable. If the value is 1, we'll take the item from the warehouse, and if it's 0, we'll leave it behind. The vector of all of these variables represents the inclusion of the complete set of items in the warehouse. We can define one of these item vectors for each of the vehicles in our fleet, and then we can represent our entire problem with the matrix X, where X, I, V represents the inclusion of item I in vehicle V. Note that the number of rows in our matrix is equal to the number of items that there are in the warehouse, and the number of columns is equal to the number of vehicles in our fleet. Next, to define our problem, we need to apply our constraints. Firstly, each item can only be added to one vehicle. So the sum across all of our vehicles in our matrix for each row must be less than or equal to 1. Next, the weight of the items packed into each vehicle must not exceed its maximum expected weight. The final step is to define our objective function. For us, that's the total value of all the items taken in the vehicles. Remember, we can do this because the variables in our matrix are either 0 or 1. So if the item isn't taken, we'll simply be multiplying that value coefficient by 0. Cool, so we now have a set of linear constraints and an objective function. It's worth noting that the variables in our problem here are integers, 0 or 1, so what we have here is called a mixed integer linear program. Smart people can then take our program and use some very clever techniques from the field of linear programming to solve our problem by maximizing the objective function. However, smart people also know that we can just write some code to do this all for us. There are many great tools and libraries out there for solving linear programming problems. For this video, I'll be using Google's OR Tools. This is a great library designed for solving all kinds of problems in the field of operational research. This library includes a mixed integer program solver, which we'll implement here in Python. We'll start by importing the various libraries we need. We'll also just define some sample data which we can use to test that our program works. So we have our constants, i.e. the weights and values of each of the items, as well as the maximum weight of each vehicle. We'll then define a matrix X filled with Boolean variables for each of our items in each of our vehicles. We then have our constraints, so each item must be assigned to at most one vehicle, and the amount packed into each vehicle must not exceed its maximum capacity. Finally, we'll define our objective function, and then press go on our solver to maximise this. Our program very quickly finds the optimal solution for our small set of sample data. Happy with the results, we can now pass our algorithm over to the company for use on their own much larger set of warehouse data. Satisfied with the millions that you've helped them save, they graciously hand over your reward and hopefully won't blackmail you into working for them again. Now, the problem presented here is an example of what's called a bin packing problem, where we seek to find the best way to fill multiple bins with items. Specifically, this is just a spin on the classic knapsack problem from computer science where here we have multiple knapsacks that we need to fill up. A step further is known as the multi-dimensional knapsack problem. Here, each knapsack has a multi-dimensional capacity, both a maximum weight as well as limits on other quantities. Perhaps in our example, there's also a limit on the mass of corrosives per truck. 
See if you can have a go at extending the program from this video to solve for this more complicated case. And I'll leave the source code that you've seen here in the description so you can get started. Finally, I'd like to add that whilst the problem presented here was somewhat dramatic and superficial, similar techniques have use cases across all kinds of important problems, ranging from shift scheduling to vehicle replanning. If you're interested in learning more about these, then let me know in the comments below. Also check out the Google OR Tools library and the other links in the description.